Hello, and welcome to the first webinar of Louis Bellet. Um, it's the third, yes, uh, already, because uh, we already put that in place for French speaking, German speaking. So now it's your turn in English uh, language to, to follow this webinar about, um, about the 1620F, our finishing uh, uh, end meal that allows you to have an outstanding uh, surface finish during your um, milling operation in stainless steel. So I'm Hervé Baou. Uh, I think that most of you know me or saw me uh, anywhere around the world. <laughs> I am the sales uh, manager for international uh, as well as uh, international uh, building um, uh, business development uh, manager. I'm working uh, for uh, Louis Bellet since uh, uh, almost seven years now, and uh, of course, my my business and my my work has uh, changed radically <laughs> since the uh, beginning of this year due to uh, the well-known uh, COVID-19, and uh, we need to reinvent ourselves in order to to get in touch with you and and uh, keep you updated with uh, a new products uh, and new techniques that our community or our company can provide you with. So today um, we we'll go through a, a presentation. He will have the opportunity to, to uh, ask you some questions, to, to ask us, excuse me, some question or ask me. Uh, there is a QR, QNR section in the, in the interface that you can see. And uh, as well, you will have a the, the possibility to answer to some polls. There will be three of them uh, during this 15 minutes live session um, for which we, we try to, to better understand your needs and uh, where you do come from in terms of um, technology or markets. So we'll start with the first uh, poll and uh, it will ask you, um what type of industry are you working in so let's start the first one i will uh, i will let it uh, run for some time and uh, i will first uh, first of all uh, show you the the tool we will work uh, we will uh, talk about uh, uh, today so it's a, a full fruit um uh, finishing end meals uh coated uh, tool as you can see and we will go a bit more in detail about it with the first slide uh, let me share my screen there we go so um this is the this is the tool um we we will talk about i, I just showed you uh, where does this come from, basically? So uh, most of our customers um, are from the, the uh, I mean, originally from the watch industry and they had some uh, challenges because the, 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 the finishing or the polishing uh, section of the, of the work or the operation uh, was uh, highly costive in, in terms of time and of course, in, in terms of, of a dollar afterwards. And um, they ask us, can you develop a tool which is um, uh, which allows us to minimize this uh, operation, finishing operation, or uh, if possible, uh, remove it, remove it uh, completely. So we developed, uh, 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 we, we took everything uh, in our hands in, in order to, to define what can be done in order to, to achieve this challenge. So, uh, we took everything we had in mind, in, in, in hand, uh, in order to, uh, to have some shiny flutes, uh, sharp uh, edges, uh, edge preparation on the, on the side, uh, a completely dedicated coating for the, for the stainless steel. And uh, basically it, it led us to this kind of, of tool that you can see rotating in front of you. Um, in our portfolio, you will find it. Uh, uh, you will find it uh, standard from our. Uh, uh, you will find it standard in in, uh, in our uh, um, 
<laughs> list of product and it starts from diameter 2 up to, to, to diameter 12. Uh, the, the cutting length is uh, generally uh, 2 times D. And um, as, uh, as I, I, I asked you before, or as I mentioned, the, the, the industry asked us, what is um, uh, or how can we do to, to minimize the, uh, this uh, um, uh, finishing uh, share or rate? So I will open a second poll which will uh, ask you on uh, how to, how can we, uh, or how much of your cost uh, is the finishing, um, is the finishing operation, um, uh, I mean cost basically. So is it, is it a lot of, uh, of your cost or your overall cost? Um, because as said, so if you want to have a, a, a minimum uh, time for finishing, for polishing, you need to have a, a perfect uh, uh, milling uh, surface state. So it will, it will. We we had, for instance, customer which had uh, up to fifty percent of the total cost used only for the the finishing operation or polishing operation, and you know that. The more you polish, the more you do this operation, the more you round the, the, the edge of your, of your part. And this is definitely not uh, what, you would like to, what you would like to have. All right. So um, we will go uh, deeper in, in terms of um, uh, cutting speed and cutting operation. But before doing that, uh, I need to mention that uh, today uh, the, the, the modern machines or the or all the machines are precise. Uh, the, 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 all these centers uh, of operation uh, are doing uh, outstandingly and they are, they are performing really well, all of them. However, uh, should you use a, a Vimama Codel, a Bimotech or any kind of uh, other uh, centers, they all are different. So they do have uh, a better rigidity, they do have uh, uh, some, I mean, speeds, uh, run out and the spindle, uh, we are talking about Micron, of course, but all of them are a bit different. So um, for our uh, example, where we will show it uh, working live, uh, we use the uh, cutting speed fairly high uh, at 180 uh, meters per minute. And uh, it was working well in our setup. So our setup was a Vimama Codel um, uh, for one uh, machine. So uh, the, the beauty of the, of the thing or the, the, the wheel fine tuning uh, lies on the, on, on the details. And in our case, the details are really the, the, the feed uh, per tooth. Uh, you need to go fast, but not too fast. And the 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 bigger the, the, the bigger thing to to take uh, care of is that the the chip is not smaller than two micron. Why is that? If the chip is too small, it goes uh, behind the cutting edge, and uh, we call that in French uh, patinage or sliding. So this slide uh, will uh, make the, the a deposit of material. On the on the cutting edge, and it will um, it will uh, limit or it will degrade the life duration of the tool. So let's uh, have a look uh, on my slide once again. Here we go. Um, I think you see, yeah, I think you see it now. Uh, let's see about uh, the the part we the part we will uh, that, that we will uh, uh, machine or the, the part we did machine with this tool. So this is a, a kind of a, a wristband part, a bit bigger. You can see it here. We show it to you um, uh, in a larger side afterwards, and. Uh, we took uh, what was working pretty well uh, on our setup, once again, was a, a cutting speed of 180 meters per minute. Uh, the, the feed per tooth was something between 
15 and 30 micron for the for a flank finish flank finish and uh, from 5 to 20 micron for uh, for the bottom finish this of course is uh, for uh, a tool with a diameter of uh, six millimeter. Then the, the other thickness, over thickness before finishing, uh, we took it uh, 500 or so 50 micron. Uh, why is that? Is that's where that's where we sh we we saw best results. Then the um, the AP or AE was uh, something like 0.05. Uh, at two times D uh, and uh, 0 0.75 uh, times D for the AE. So I can show you maybe now the how does look uh, the part in real. So you can see the, the the finish was made really with the with this tool, and I can say that uh, it, it's really shiny and really impressive in, in terms of uh, of uh, roughness. We will come back on this uh, pretty quickly. What I will uh, show you now is how it was done and how or how it looked uh, on the machine. So I share my screen once again. And this is uh, how it looks like. So you see the you see the the the, um, the, the cutter working around. You see the difference uh, between the the um, pre preparation or pre milling and the finishing. And you can see it maybe a, 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 the second time. You can see that once the end mill is passing over the over the face. Uh, the 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 face is uh, looking much brighter, much shinier. Um, so the the parameters uh, we use, as said, is uh, something like 180 meters per minute, uh, which gives us a, a revolution speed of 10,000 RPM with a feed rate at 550 meters per minute. And uh, the tool used there is the, our 1620F uh, uh, with the diameter of six millimeter. We can see the contouring uh, machining of the part and the chips uh, are well fragmented. So it, the, the chips are really small. Uh, what we didn't put here was a lubricant uh, in purpose, I mean, for, of course, for a purpose that you that you can see the 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 machining um, and what you can barely hear maybe I can put it louder while machining the sound is 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 okay it doesn't it doesn't make a lot of noise or a lot of uh, of uh, uh, low uh, vibration which indicates at the first sight that the machining is doing okay. What we can see now is the uh, result slide. So uh, we, what we do see here are two uh, machining. Uh, on the left hand side, it was done with a standard end mill uh, with, uh, I mean, a non-finishing end mill. So you can see stripes on the face and uh, on the right hand side with the finishing end mill. Both, um, both cuts was, were made with the same uh, parameters, cutting parameters, so it shouldn't be that many difference in terms of, uh, of uh, machining itself. So all the geometry, all the coatings, all the, um, the, the, the small um, um, geometry details that we put in this uh, 1620F uh, end mill gives us the ability to have a, a much more shinier uh, surface than a standard end mill. Uh, so you can see that it's really near to a polish uh, finish. 
so you you see a lot of uh, a lot less stripes and um, when you do the polishing usually so when you when you do insist on in polishing then you i mean the dimension are are, are, are not uh, are, i mean are modified uh, the dimension are modified and also the edges uh, they are not sharp anymore of the of your part so the more uh, near to the polishing uh, end surface uh, you are the the less polishing uh, operation you have to do and the more uh, sharper edge you can have and also in terms of dimension you still are in the uh, in the micron um, if you have less uh, polishing operation to do um, so this uh, has been uh, requested by the watch industry as i said at first but um, through the time, so different other customers are using this kind of tool as well. Uh, for instance, in the, in the medical application, like uh, for uh, hip implants or uh, knees implants. So the, 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 the more closer you are from the, from the end uh, dimension or the end state, you wish uh, the less uh, operation you have to do in polishing. So it, it saves you a lot of, of cost, of course. Um, yeah, you know us as a supplier of, uh, of solution and um, we do have uh, these standard tools, but of course we can take all the advantage of this uh, standard tool uh, with a, a geometry or custom, um, a custom shape uh, tools. Uh, so uh, yes, of course you can you can have uh, like for instance you can see on the on the slide you can have a special uh, uh, dedicated geometry that you would like to see and we can implement the coating uh, the edge preparation and all the the details that are um, that, that were developed for for this tool um, to uh, uh, to to be put on this kind of tool. Um, it drives me to the end of uh, or, or the last poll. Uh, let me let me give you the the hand, and the last poll is uh, the material. So I would like to to know uh, what kind of material you do machine. So because uh, we are talking here about uh, a tool for the for the stainless stainless steel, but what other material would you like to see for this kind of, uh, uh, of tool? Um, we know uh, titanium is uh, widely used and more and more used in different industries. Uh, let's see what's, what the polls uh, gives you as an answer. Um, so uh, I think we, we make about the, the or less the the most of the the round of the, the of the subject so um, uh, i don't know if you do have some uh, questions uh, let me see if i can if i do get some some question um, i do have uh, two or three three actually so the first one is uh, is a semi finishing operation mandatory to use this tool uh, well, um, this tool doesn't really um, need a, a, a semi-finishing operation. Um, of course, the, it, it is meant to be used as a, as a finishing tool, so you, you better have a, a, a geometry near to the, to, the, to the end dimensions. But um, having an over thickness of 0 0.05 or 0 0.1, uh, should be something um, uh, correct or coherent with the uh, with what you need in order to to have uh, the best finish of your of your end plates and and uh, end surface. So I hope this uh, answers the the, uh, the question. Um, what uh, what is uh, the second question? Does the cutter support a pass? with greater than, than uh, 50 micron or 0.05 millimeter. 
Um, I will I will say yes, um, but as said before, so I think that uh, an over thickness of 0, 0 0.05 millimeter between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1 uh, is the best because uh, you, you still have, I mean, meat <laughs> to, to eat and uh, the, the, the cutter can, can really um, cut the, at, at its best uh, this kind of uh, over thickness. But uh, from from a stand, I mean, from a real point of view, I mean, this this uh, this tool was uh, was developed uh, based on the 1620 series, which is a, a, an end mill for the stainless steel, and uh, so we adapted it for uh, doing the 1620F. So it it is a, 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 an end mill that you can that you can take larger pass. However, uh, the more you give, or I mean, if you, if you go over the 0 0.1 millimeter, uh, it will, I, I think it will um, lower the, the life duration of this tool. Um, so yeah, between 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 and 0 0.1 should be the, the, should give you the best results. Uh, another question: uh, Does the 1620F work in other material? Ah, this is a this is a good question. And uh, for a small story, I would say that um, we developed a, a brass tool, uh, and uh, one of our customers uh, tested it in uh, in uh, in titanium, and it was surprisingly working outstandingly. So I would say that uh, it it might. It might work, uh, but we, we haven't tested. Uh, let me write it down. I will, I will ask my, my colleagues from R&D to, to, to make the test uh, with uh, maybe another coating or a uh, slight uh, other geometry. But uh, we'll, we will try to, to do that and, and give you some, some feedback. Um, let me hear. Um, I do have a, I do have a question here. What would be the ideal depth of cut, so AE, to get a mirror finish? Well, I think uh, it it was linked something like uh, similar to the other question. I think you will get uh, best result with AE between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. However, I, 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 I doubt that you will have a really a, a mirror finish because a mirror finish can only be um, reached uh, with a polishing or maybe a, a monocrystal diamond tool. So it will be difficult to, have, to get a mirror finish with this, this tool, but you will, you will get close to it, I would say. And the question, what type of edge prep is maintained? <laughs> well, uh, this, is a, this is a recipe that we, that we do have uh, uh, in our, uh, I mean, in-house. Uh, of course, uh, the, the edge preparation is a, is a science. We, we did a lot of tests in order to, to have uh, or to reach this kind of quality. And this is kind of a, of a secret, but I mean, the, the process is, uh, is stable and uh, it, is, uh, it is kind of a, of a recipe and this recipe is, uh, is, is given to, to the, for this uh, series of, of cutters, which gives a, 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 a niche prep um, consistent in the whole uh, uh, production series. I hope uh, I, I give the, the answer you wanted. Uh, how much RA is possible to achieve? Um, the the RA that we that we measured was around uh, zero point fifteen. So um, it's not a mirror finish. If we come back to the to the last question, but it, it is for for a milling operation, it's already really really uh, outstanding, I would say. So we we measured uh, down to zero point one, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, zero, zero 0.15 is something that, uh, that we can reach or we could, uh, we could uh, yeah, think to achieve with, uh, with this kind of tool, at least with our uh, machine. Maybe you can have a, a, better, uh, a better machining centers, 
more rigid that allows you to, to go even higher in terms of uh, RA. Uh, will this webinar of the cutting specification display be available to reference for programming the machine? Uh, yes. Uh, so we will, uh, uh, I will, after this uh, webinar, I will send you the link uh, to the video because it's, uh, it's uh, recorded. Um, you will have the, ability, the possibility to see the, the, um, the video again and also the slides. But uh, if you wish, uh, you also can send me email to, to go deeper into, into, this, uh, into this discussion and I definitely can link you to our R&D team uh, to give you a dedicated or custom, uh, uh, custom param uh, cutting parameters. Uh, another question, does it produce burr on the corners? Uh, that's a good question. Um, it depends of, of uh, what you call burr, <laughs> because uh, I don't know if you see it, 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 it wasn't touched. Right? It, it, it's difficult to, to see. You feel that it's sharp. And uh, I mean, sharpness and, and burr uh, sometimes is, is, really, is really near. Um, it, it doesn't cut you, so it, it, it is regular. I would say that if there are some burr, it's really limited. You, you do not see, um, even on the microscope, you do not see a lot of, of irregular, um, I mean, not, not flat surface. So I would say rather no, but I, I do not say it um, clear or, um, I mean, 100% sure that it will not uh, create a, a, a little burr. Uh, what it could also do is uh, the the the, uh, the the thicker or the the the, the most uh, material you do cut. So the AE, uh, the bigger it is, then it will create more more burr afterwards. Um, the last question I have in my uh, in my screen is: What tool life can be achieved on stainless steel material in terms of meter? Uh, this is a good question. I do not have the answer uh, handy. Uh, what I can tell you is uh, this was shown on, a, on, a, on an exhibition. So we, we had a small machine, machining this, uh, this part. And uh, we, I'm not 100% sure if we changed the, the, the cutter or not. But during the whole week, we did produce uh, with, I would say, with the same cutter. Uh, so this is a 10 millimeter, uh, 10 centimeters, so 100 millimeter, or five, yeah, five and five. And I think we, we produce something like 200 of them. So 200 times uh, 10, 2000 centimeter, 20 meter. Uh, is something which is uh, reachable easily. The, 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 the cutter was like new. Uh, it's not an answer. Uh, I might, uh, I might uh, ask our, our R&D team uh, to, to give you a, a, a more precise uh, answer, but it gives you still a, a, an idea. It will not be 10, uh, it might be 100 or 200 meters. Uh, I, I really cannot understand, uh, answer this question, but uh, I think it's uh, more or less in this, uh, in this uh, range. Um, I, will, I will come back to you um, uh, to give you some, some more information, but um, once again, it, it also depends on the, on the part you do machine. It also depends on the, um, uh, on, the, on the AE or the cutting parameter you are using. It also depends on the machine. It's really hard to answer this kind of, uh, of question, but I will, I will try to, 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 to get more information about that. All right, so I do not have any more questions so far. So I think it's coming to, to the end of this third webinar. I hope uh, that you liked it. I know I, I wanted also to, to get back to you about the, the polls I, I, gave, I, uh, I proposed you. So 
just to give you some information about the industry, so the, the people were uh, uh, following this seminar or this webinar. So we had uh, about uh, 45 percent uh, who were who are active in the medtech, 36 percent in the dental industry, uh, 27 percent on the watch industry, 64 percent from the automotive. 36% on aeronautics or aerospace, and 27% uh, other industry. Uh, second poll was, uh, what is the production, proportional cost of your finishing operation? So 40% um, were, uh, I mean, did answer from zero to 10% of the whole product cost, 30% uh, from 10 to 20, 20% from 20 to 30, and 10% uh, above 30%. So you see this, uh, I mean, we, we have a, like, something like 30% who uh, have some issues, let's say, uh, with uh, with the cost of production for this finishing part, more than 20%, which is, I mean, pretty, pretty high. And uh, for the last poll about the materials you do machine, so uh, steel and titanium. So titanium is the is the is the highest has the highest rate with sixty nine percent. Then steel with a sixty two percent, aluminium thirty eight percent, non ferrous material with thirty one percent, precious material fifteen uh, percent, and composite eight percent. So it's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, it's kind of interesting uh, uh, information that you that you shared with us. Uh, it will also guide us uh, for for future uh, developments. Um, uh, I do see maybe one or two other uh, questions before uh, closing the, the, the webinar. So what is the other code for this item? So it is 1620F series. Uh, I will, I can, I can send you the, the data sheet for, um, with, the, with the detail of the diameter uh, to all of you who follow the, the webinar. Uh, so that I do not forget, I will I'll write it down. Data sheet. Okay. Uh, can you explain about trochoidal milling can be used? Do we have any impeller machining taper and mill? Um, I think that uh, once again, this this tool is not meant for really. I mean, going into the material and do a, a shape. Um, like uh, like any other end mill, so I would I would rather use it as a finishing tool for contouring, and not really a trochoidal uh, a machining. So for this, I would rather use a, a, another series from us, maybe a 1620F in for stainless steel, uh, 1620 excuse me, 1620 for uh, stainless steel or others. Um, we can discuss. You can you can send me an email. Uh, asking me for other uh, cutters for stainless steel or other uh, material. Uh, how much depth can we take for small diameters and mean like one millimeter for keyway slot? Uh, so the 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 the, the end mill has a, a, a cutting a length of two times D. So if you have a one millimeter, well, we start uh, standard. Uh, we start uh, from um, two millimeters diameter, so you will get a, a four millimeters uh, cutting length for the contouring. Um, all right, so this time I think I I, I did uh, uh, the round of uh, of the tour uh, the tour of the of the of the questions. So I I thank you once again really much for for your attendance. Uh, I hope it uh, uh, that you liked the, the the webinar. We will do others. Um, if you have some some interest in different uh, other uh, webinar uh, material to um, anything you can you can ask we will take it into consideration to for the for the next webinar um, uh, I hope that uh, this cutter this 20 16 20f cutter will help you in in doing your finishing uh, operation uh, should you have 
any other um, need, you can directly contact me. I will share my screen for to, for you to get my my details, my contact details. But most of you know me. I said, uh, okay. please also do follow us on uh, our social networks like uh, LinkedIn, for instance. You you get a lot of information on, on this kind of. Uh, of uh, social media, and uh, the 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 ending word will be, of course, uh, stay healthy. Uh, I hope every everybody goes well, and I hope it will stay like this uh, for you and your family. Um, take care of you, uh, take care of yourself, and don't hesitate to to machine with our tools. All right, thank you very much, and have a nice day evening or morning depending on which area you are uh, all over all over the world thank you very much enjoy